Hi everyone, it's Demetrius here again from Pixel. Welcome back. I wanted to give you a little bit of an introduction to the new course that I've developed. It came out about a month and a half ago, but I haven't done a video on it. So I thought I would uh, catch you up with the Certified Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning Professional course. Yes, it's a mouthful, C-A-I-M-L-P. And uh, just give you a bit of insight as to what is in this course and what you'll be getting. It's not for the faint of heart, but it's also not a very difficult course either in the way that I've structured it. Now, the idea is that uh, this is the fourth labor of love that I've worked on, the fourth course that I've been involved in building for my one brand, which is Obi Academy, sitting under the Obi Pixel banner. And um, we wanted really, myself and a couple of other sort of technology guys, um, we wanted to create something very unique that would help all learners with their beginning and basically the ultimate mastery of artificial intelligence and of course specifically machine learning. Um, without any fuss, you know, without any of complications and also by example with exercises and labs, which is not always that easy. So it's taken a bit of time. It's taken us approximately nine months to build this course. And the reason why, once again, I've gone ahead and put a course like this under the OB Pixel OB Academy is because the courses out there in the industry as great as they are, they're not good enough. And I'm not scared of saying that because when I was starting to learn machine language and artificial intelligence and generally, and I was getting into the industry, which is approximately 10 years ago, I wasn't very happy with all the content. And I think since then, there have been a number of changes, there have been a number of improvements over time, but it's still not ideal. And there's a lot of great vendors out there providing great courses, but none of them cover a good broad base across the board when it comes to technology, technical stuff, the business side of things and labs and exercises all in one singular course. And then also a lot of the courses don't just cover uh, machine learning and then they just go ahead and just do that or they just cover artificial intelligence and they just do that. No, 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 this is one, t one complete course. So basically you don't have to have any skills to start this course. It is ideal if you have a little bit of Python programming just to help you because it does involve a fair amount of uh, programming, but if you've never learned Python, there's nothing wrong with that. I've got all the labs and exercises ready for you to start from scratch. And if you really want to get to grips with this course, then I suggest you do the other course that we've built, which is the Certified Python Professional, which takes a person from basics all the way to advanced in five days. And again, all my courses, as all they are, they're all five-day courses, and they're all online, self-paced, self-learning. Yes, I do deliver these courses with other approved training centers as an instructor in the classroom. So I do on-site training for these. But at the same time, I also offer these courses privately on through my website, through my learn management system that I have. Now, let me break down what is involved and unveil the mysteries of AI and machine learning. So what we've done is I've worked very closely with a number of industry experts and I've curated modules specifically designed to equip both businesses and technical professionals. And uh, basically it gives you the essential skills in today's dynamic landscape of AI and machine learning. So whether you're diving into data processing or whether you're mastering uh, supervised or unsupervised learning, the idea is we're going to demystify the natural language processing, NLP, and we'll explore the ethical dimensions as well of all AI with basically decent enough comprehension and as a, at the same time lab and exercises, labs and exercises available for every single module. In addition to that, we'll also provide additional content reading, additional material for those of you who want to take this even further technically. And everything will be run through our uh, online learn management solution. 
So let's break down what's involved. In module one, I'm going to take you through the understanding and the significance of today's evolving sort of business landscape. And we'll dive into the art of data uh, uh, pre-processing and the exploratory data analysis um, that we can possibly work with. Then in module two, we will equip ourselves with the skills to handle sort of real world data challenges reasonably effectively. With module three and four, I've introduced you to the exciting world of supervised and unsupervised learning. Well, essentially you'll gain the comprehensive understanding of the algorithms, uh, which are basically decision trees, neural networks, clustering techniques, and so on. And you'll also uncover the magic of NLP, the magic of natural language processing, which is what makes AI driven today. In module five, we're going to learn about sentiment analysis, text classification, and obviously the latest sort of advances in the different models that we have today, like the transformer models in GPT and the BERT models and LLAMA, all right? Those are the classic ones. And of course, we're gonna be looking at uh, different models that are gonna be added into this course in the future, which you'll get free access to, which will be tools like Gemini. We're just waiting for Gemini from Google to basically get a bit more stable. But I'll be adding those into the course as a secondary or as another module at the end. In module six, <clears throat> We're going to embark through uh, the idea of reinforcement learning and deep reinforcement learning. So we're going to grasp uh, the intricacies of Q learning, actor critical methods, uh, and their real world sort of applications. So we'll discover the art of transforming models from training in production. Sorry, from training to production, which is which is what's important. And then in module seven, we'll explore cloud computing. Cloud computing, containerization, and model serving, which is obviously very important as we have great cloud solutions like Amazon, AWS, Google Cloud Computing, Rackspace, uh, Alibaba Cloud Computing. You have um, Microsoft Azure Cloud Computing, which we can leverage from uh, and leverage that those platforms to build our machine models and our AI applications. Once we do that, we're going to navigate through ethical the ethical considerations. You know, ethics are very important in artificial intelligence and machine learning. This is what we're going to we're going to deep cover in module eight. We we have to go through ethics because this is the one thing that, or the one aspect of the world that at the moment they're not concentrating on, and that is. What about ethics when it comes to AI? What about biases? What about having AI accessible to everybody? How is this gonna deal with the ramifications in business? So we're gonna demystify the, the what we call the model itself, uh, the black boxes basically, through explaining the different techniques and ensuring that you know your AI solutions that you put in place, and of course their real um, world applications are suitable to purpose and they don't violate in any way any laws and any ethics around that then navigating um through that we're going to look at module 9 and 10 which will basically immerse you into the realm of privacy and governance and we're basically taking ai ethics even deeper uh, we'll we're going to provide sort of insights into the trends and into the shaping of the future of different industries and how AI is going to be doing that. And I'm sure you've been watching recently online, uh, you know, on the internet and applications and Microsoft Copilot and Google Gemini and OpenAI's GPT models and all the others that have they've, they've taken the world by storm and they've taken the industry by storm and all applications are being changed and modified relatively quickly to use AI. But, you know, AI has been inside information technology uh, applications for many years now. It's just that it's now come to the fruition and to the surface so that the rest of the, the people outside of IT can benefit from. And um, looking at all these modules, uh, we'll, we'll hit all the way till 10. And then we're going to take a look at the idea of, you know, when you're doing AI and machine learning, 
this has to be transformative as a learning experience. And uh, there's no easy way to make that transformative just by, by looking at theory like most of the other courses on the internet provide. Now, I've taken a completely different approach with this course. I've provided you labs, exercises for every single one of those stages, every single one of those modules. And I'm taking you through step by step by step through how to learn those things, including the programming code so that you can understand and it's tried and tested programming code. I will also be giving you the programming code. It'll be available to you for download. You'll have also have additional lab exercises to deal with where I will give you the insights on how to write the code and you'll have to do the code yourself. And then on top of that, you're also going to be given an additional document. It's roughly 45 to 60 pages in addition to the almost 60 hours of training in this course which is far more than 60 pages, um, we're going to be giving an additional set of documentation and reading materials for the much in-depth, more in-depth look into all the different algorithms and the way the different supervised and unsupervised learning really kicks in and how machine learning can be leveraged. So we promise really with the CIMLP, the Certified Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning Professional course, to basically reshape uh, your journey and learning experience in elevating your career and trajectory with AI. You know, not shying away from AI and machine learning, not being scared of it, but learning how to leverage technology because that's what technology is. It's just a tool. That's all it is. It's not going to take over humanity. It can't. It's designed by us. Okay, but we need to learn how to leverage it. Otherwise, it can be used for bad things rather than good things. And believe me, I understand that completely because my main career is an information security professional and a digital forensics expert. And I've been working in this industry for 37 years. And when it comes to artificial intelligence and machine learning, I've been in this industry for almost 10 years now. So I understand how this can be quite detrimental to organizations if they don't leverage the technology and they don't overcome the hurdles that they need to overcome so that they can absolutely use this to their benefit and get a return of investment in the organization and security as well so whether you're aiming you know for self-paced online training or you want to do this course with our providers that we have chosen around the world our commitment is basically your success it's unwavering with all our courses. When we develop courses, myself and Steve van Varenevek from uh, uh, Belgium and a couple of my mates that I have in Southern Africa and the United States as well, we are predominantly here to ensure that your future in artificial intelligence and machine learning begins and begins the correct way and the right way. Okay, and now I'll take you through our website on https colon forward slash forward slash obi.academy. Obi.academy. So let me take you into this website so you can get an idea of what's involved. Now, the target audience, it, it's for anyone, all people who are interested in leveraging AI and machine learning, and you want to enhance your lives and careers instantly within the next sort of five to seven, depending on how many hours you allocate, allocate to your learning, you could master the subject within five to seven days. And um, this course will appeal to you. So let me break down this curriculum. It's roughly five days to seven days. It's over 65 to 75 hours, depending on how you allocate your hours when it comes to the learn management system. It is horizontal learning experience. So basically it'll be immersive. You'll learn across the different platforms. The course format, yes, we do offer it in digital book if required. It is also available in print course book if required, but that's only if you attend the on-site training. Most of the time, 95% of the time, my students prefer to do courses online, at home, and self-paced because we live in a very busy world and crazy world today. So that's actually the essence of how I've delivered this course. It's specifically designed to be online and self-paced. So that's the main way we deliver it online. And let me break down some of the modules for you. So this is what I mentioned earlier when it comes to the modules. And this is the full breakdown. So as you can see, module one has 
so all sorts of information. What is artificial in intelligence? Excuse me. What is what is the idea of AI? Understanding machine learning and its applications, like what's the actual in technology underneath AI? The role of AI and machine learning in today's business landscape. You know, what does it play? What kind of role does it play in your business? The key terminologies and concepts of AI and machine learning. Overview of AI tools and frameworks, because we need to understand not just the tools, but the frameworks that we can leverage with when it comes to our development. Ethical considerations for AI and machine learning. Just some of the basics. This is an introductory model uh, module. Real world examples of AI and basically machine learning successes that we have in the industry. Challenges and limitations, and of course, the trends of the future. In model two, or module two, I keep on saying model because my brain is so hypered about models at the moment with machine learning, so my brain goes straight to models instead of modules. My bad. With module two, data processing and data pre processing. And exploration of data analysis is what we're going to cover. So we're going to look at the importance of quality in data when it comes to AI and machine learning, data collection and storage, uh, data cleaning, transformation techniques, feature extraction and selection, exploratory data analysis, EDA techniques, visualization and data uh, representation, dealing with missing data and outliers, very important things. Outliers are kind of like our caveats, the, the interesting sort of conditions. Handling imbalanced data, best practices of data pre-processing, uh, pre basically EDA. And then in module three, we're going to take a much deeper dive into the two main areas of the types of learning, which will be three and four which would be supervised and an unsupervised learning in supervised uh, learning of algorithms we will do the introduction we'll take a look at linear regression and logistic reg regression decision trees random forests support vector machines very important pieces of information very important technology aspects and and, and devices and uh, systems that we need to have in place uh, classification techniques like naive buyers, classifiers. Then we have K nearest neighbors, neural networks and deep learning, model evaluation metrics, and hyperparameter tuning and model selection. So yes, we're going to get quite technical into this. I don't expect people to, if they've never done AI or machine learning to understand all these things, but don't worry. That's the point of me developing this course. I developed it in such a way that it's the way I would have wanted to learn it if I was a student today. That's always the approach I take with my students. You're more than welcome to communicate with any one of my students online, on all the social media platforms, even on LinkedIn, and ask them about me, and they'll tell you how I deliver training. The idea is to make sure I think like a student first and then as an instructor. So that's how I've built these courses. And you'll be able to understand all these, all these topics because my courseware is all bulleted information straight off bulleted data no fluff no nonsense no information that is not pertinent all the information is very important and basically you don't even have to take any notes in my courseware because my notes are in there already in the way that you would have written your notes i mean unless you have a different style of notes in module four unsupervised learning algorithms is the other side of the coin We'll take a look at the introduction. We'll take a look at the clustering techniques like k-means, hierarchical, and db scan. Um, db scan, basically. We'll look at dimensionality reduction, which is essentially we're going to take a look at principal component analysis, which is PCA. It's mostly used in the algorithms that we learn with association rule mining, anomaly detection, recommender systems, self-organizing maps, evaluation metrics, and obviously the applications and use cases. In module five, I decided to go much deeper into this and demystify AI and machine learning a bit further and get to the engine. Get right down to the engine of how AI understands us as humans and how we interact with AI and machine learning. And that's with natural language processing and pre-processing. So we'll look at the introduction and its applications. We'll take a look at text pre-processing and tokenization. Text representation, things like bag of words, TFIDF, the techniques of how words are being used and understood by the systems. Sentiment analysis, how we can provide AI with sentiment so it can give us different results. 
This is very, very well used in the systems like ChatGPT engines. Named entity recognition, very important and powerful technology. Text classification, topic modeling. For example, we're going to take a look at the uh, latent direct uh, direct let uh, allocation, the DLA, LDA, sorry. The neural networks basically that are behind NLP, so word embeddings, recurrent neural networks, the very more advanced, more, more sort of scalable neural networks. And then the recent sort of advances in NLP, like the transformer models, BERT, Llama, and GPT, right? The ones you're probably familiar with today. In module six, we'll look at reinforcement learning and deep reinforcement learning. There is, there is a considerable difference here. This gets quite technical in this area, and it does involve understanding some algorithms, but it's fine. I've broken down those algorithms into very easy to understand um, uh, sort of passages so that you can get an understanding of how these things work under the hood. We'll look at the introduction again, then we'll look at the Markov decision process, which is used many in many industries. Q learning and temporal difference learning. Deep Q networks, which is what's currently being used in a lot of the cloud companies, policy gradient methods, actor critical methods, deep reinforcement learning algorithms like DP, um, DDPG, A3C, there's a, there's a number of them. It gets a little bit complex on that side. Applications of reinforcement learning, and of course, the challenges in the future directions of reinforcement learning. Then we're going to take a look at how do we deploy you know, you can talk about these things, learn about these things, but we need to understand how to deploy and also how to productize these machine models to, to create products out of them. So we're going to take a look at model deployment, basically from training to production. We're going to take a look at the cloud computing of all the different cloud providers like AWS, Azure, Google Cloud providing and so on. Model serving, uh, sorry, containerization. We need to understand how do we store the machine learning and AI applications, typically in docker s3 containers and kubernetes the most classic three container types we use in cloud computing <coughs> excuse me scalability and performance considerations we need to know how to optimize our algorithms our models okay and then monitoring and maintaining the machine learning system so that we you know we can constantly keep on top of them update them keep on monitoring see if they're doing the right thing as long as they're not violating any laws and data standards and ethics those kind of things and then model versioning and then continuous integration deployment security and privacy and machine learning systems one of my personal favorite sections and of course case studies and successful model deployments that we have today in module eight i wanted to really step away from the technology and get down to brass tacks and talk about the business side and more specifically the legalities the ethics the data standards, the morals behind everything, and the explainability of AI and the interpretability of AI. Because it's not just about ethics, it's also about how, to, how easily it is explainable and understandable and interpreted. Otherwise, AI could run away from us. So, importance of model explainability is very important for companies. Techniques for interpreting what we call black box models, in other words, hidden models. I don't give these names to these systems. That's the industry standards for these names. Feature importance and feature selection, right? How do we deal with that? Local and global inter interpretability of these methods. Model explainable frameworks or model explainability of the frameworks, things like SHAP Lime the great ways of explaining models, fairness and bias in AI, which is absolutely paramount. I can't stress this enough, how paramount this is and how important this is. I'm going to take a page from the book from Elon Musk because I do value his opinions as a visionary. He 100% also has told the world that we need to start taking a very, very deep look at the fairness and bias of AI and a lot of companies are not listening and <clears throat> I think that's a mistake a truly bad mistake and because I've been in the industry for 37 years I think Elon Musk is right so I've taken a deep dive into this section and I've basically captured a whole lot of information around this topic which is very relevant for today's businesses when they're implementing machine learning AI applications 
Regulatory and ethical considerations for model explainability, something that we need to seriously consider in every single country and also as a collective, a singular organization, the world basically. Trade-offs between model performance and explainability, what we can do without, what we have to deal with when it comes to dealing with ethics and what we have to avoid doing, and of course applications and best practices for the model explainability. And then a bit further into module nine, the actual ethics, privacy, and governance around those things, such as understanding the ethics and the responsibility of AI, understanding the considerations in how we do data collection. How do we do data cleaning? What's involved in the curation of the data? Who's in control of the data? Who owns the data? Who gets to oversee that kind of collection process? That's serious questions in business today. Biases and fairness in AI algorithms. The idea of privacy and security in AI systems, very important. Legal and regulatory, statutory type of landscape when it comes to AI. The responsibility in AI governance and frameworks. The idea of transparency and accountability, not responsibility, accountability. You know, where does the buck stop basically? And future directions and challenges when it comes to ethics and governance. And then finally, we will end off with AI in business transformation and the future trends and how AI and machine learning can be used to strategize an organization, to plan ahead, to deal with the, the changes that are coming through in the industries. So adoption strategies, customer relationship management, sales and marketing, supply chain and operations, finance, risk management, healthcare, medical industry, manufacturing industry, human resources and talent management. That's a, a slightly different way of doing things. Cybersecurity and of course the emerging trends and future of AI in business and in all those sectors. So I've tried to cover AI and machine learning across the board as much as we can in this first iteration of this course. And I wanted to take you through this because it's very important for me to when I build courses that apart from them getting a return on investment, which is obviously the case, that's a business, right? But more importantly, I want them to matter. I want my courses to make a difference. And it's not just to make a difference in one aspect of a company or one aspect of someone's skills. I want people and organizations to benefit across the board, across all industries. That's the point of making a dent in the world. And that is to bring up and make something up that is and I'm not making it up, I've built it over time, to, to create something, I should say, that has value for everyone, not just anyone, and not just somebody, but for everyone, you know, to avoid any biases altogether. I want to make sure that everyone has access to this. So that's what's involved in this course. And I wanted to take you through this and give you a bit of a breakdown of everything. And if you're interested, you can always subscribe on my website, to get uh, some of the latest information that we have when it comes to the artificial intelligence and machine learning course, and of course, any other of the courses that we deliver. If you're more than interested, I'm just gonna scroll up very quickly, my apologies. If you're more than interested in enlisting today, you can just click on the enroll today process and proceed with the purchase of the course. Or if you are one of those people that wants to have um, additional income every month and you want to have a side hustle if you want to call it that I call it just recurring income and you are in the business of doing affiliates you're more than welcome to join my affiliate program I pay my affiliates a really good amount of money for their particular sales and they're enjoying it thoroughly but more importantly I want to make sure that when people do a course like this that they get a course that is the way that I wanted to have learned the topic myself. And that's why I always build the courses the way I do. I build all my courses in exactly the same way. I've done it for all the different courses available to you. The Certified Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning Professional, the Generative Python Text Prompting course, which basically leverages Python programming and the GPT engine itself from OpenAI, and not just ChatGPT. ChatGPT is the what, what consumers get to see, really. Then, really to get to grips with a lot of the machine learning 
and the generative Python stuff, uh, the text prompting and all that, you need to understand a little bit of Python. It is useful. So I've put together a full-blown, from start to finish, beginners to advanced Python programming course. And of course, I started off this entire journey just during COVID, really, in 2019, by building the first and one of its kind and the only one in the industry that covers all these topics, blockchain and cryptocurrency professional together. So the certified blockchain blockchain and cryptocurrency professional covers those blockchain technologies and cryptocurrency in one product in, in one product. None of the other courses in the industry do that. You can took you can take courses online and I guarantee you they don't. And also more importantly, the quality is not there. I've spent a long time uh, delivering these courses with other proof training centers and they love them. My students are raving about the courses because I spent a long time putting them together. So I will end my uh, trumpet blowing at this point and I just wanted to give you a bit of insight as to what is involved in my training courses and specifically to introduce to you the certified artificial intelligence and machine learning programming course or machine learning professional call us if you want to call it that and uh, I look forward to seeing you online on these courses you're going to get rich content you're going to get audio content you're going to get videos and then you're going to have labs and exercise exercises you're going to have everything you need to become a professional in the AI and machine learning industry. And yes, we start off basics, we move on to intermediate stuff, we get into advanced things, we get out of it, we come back into the business side of things, we take a look at ethics. I cover a lot of ground with this course and I hope that you enjoy the course as much as I've enjoyed putting it together. Once again, this is Demetrius Zakropoulos from OB Pixel. Thank you for your time. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you online. Signing out.